Hello and welcome to Clo uh, Closure Diary. So, in this video, we are going to look at a library called CLJ HTTP. So, that's the thing. Uh, in, okay, I don't know why I'm not getting mouse pointer, right? Okay, yeah. So, this is the Clojure's page of it and this is the GitHub page. I'll be putting both the links in its notes. So, why we are looking at this library is like, let me launch my terminal. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, in previous videos, we try to get header of a URL and we use uh, what to say a command line, command line like this, and we executed this in Clojure. We got this as string, and and we converted this into a, a map so that like we can get its content type and all those stuff, right? So, uh, that was quite a big work right so but with this library clj http so let me just take this off right so uh, with this library clj http all those work can be avoided so i i've included clj http library as client over here and of course before that you need to put it in project clj so and then yeah this is a leningen project i started with uh, a jacken right so that's how it is and of course jacken is working you can check it over here right so Right, and now what I'm just doing is like I'm just getting the head of uh, a website something.com, right? So, so I'm just getting it. So, over here, this is the head, uh, and uh, in this head, we are having the headers and all those stuff. The body should be, uh, yeah, of course, the body is nil over here because we are only getting the headers. Let's say you just want to know what to say, like, uh, uh, what type of file you are going to fetch and then uh, let's say maybe you want to know the size of it or something like that from the servers uh, this would be useful right so that's the thing so what i'm just doing next is in body you have got uh, what to say a symbol called headers okay it returns as a map so sorry in uh, whenever uh, okay in this head we have got uh, it returns as a map so and what to say and uh, in that we have a thing called headers over here right and in that there is content type so this will return the content type of the file so it's so easy so rather than writing a lot of code uh, converting string to a maps i think they ha in this library they had done it for us so yeah so it is a html and utf8 so and of course you can get the entire page using client get okay so that's the thing so over here if you look the body is not nil and even if it's a gigabyte worth of body, I think you'll be able to fetch it, right? But of course, yeah, uh, you need to use it wisely, right? And uh, yeah, just to get the body, yeah, of course, we just get the body out of it over here, right? So this is the body. Something.com is a very simple website. So I, I don't know who maintains it, but you can just ping it. So it's useful for that, right? So that's the thing, right? Now what I'm just trying to do is get a head, head of, uh, image file right so head of image file means if it's a person image not just a set but what to say the server headers so this is the image file headers so i think the content type over here will be image jpeg yeah so this is from my website so that's the thing and what i'm just trying to do is to get its body like using client get get its body put it into a file right and uh, let me just try it out and what happens over here is okay i just put it in me.jpg but it doesn't work i don't know why okay so it doesn't work right so um so it just doesn't work i, I couldn't find out why okay so but if i just put client get me.jpg uh, client get in this image and you do get all those blob inside that body but it doesn't work in reality so so like um what I did was I wrote a fu function like this. Actually, I didn't write it. I copied it from Stack Overflow, right? And uh, what I just did was like, yeah, this thing's like this needs like Java.io, right? So, so I'm just importing Clojure Java IO as IO, and uh, this is over here. We are just having an input stream, right? And uh, and we are using the URI uh, as a and we are passing a URI as a variable to it and you have an output stream defined as out and you are passing file as variable to it and all you are just doing is we are just simply copying the input stream that is from the uri and then to the output stream that is 
uh, the file right so that's what we are just doing and this seems to work this seems to work and look i'm just putting it into a picture over here it says nil and it seems to work perfectly i don't know why like uh, clj http uh, uh, what to say client get doesn't work uh, so and uh, this works I, I i really don't know why okay we know why this works okay because we are coding the java stuff by our own right so that's the thing and similarly like i just thought okay why can't you just slurp it and spit it into a file but still no it doesn't work right so like let me just open the spit picture and show it to you it still doesn't work so so um use the clj http for writing maybe text content but don't use it for downloading blobs and all those things something gets to uh, uh, gets corrupted on the way I, I really don't know what really happens right so the best way of copying files from the internet seems to be to my knowledge to write a function like this and then copy it right so that's the thing uh, anyway uh, until the next video bye